Shibandi. Way down the I was driving right from the left wing. I came to a jump stop and I was making a pass. The guy, whoever I was guarding, his knee hit inside my knee and I kind of felt a, a weird, weird pull. Felt like I couldn't push off or had no, no power in my leg. Never felt nothing like that before. I never dealt with no injury like that before. I didn't know exactly what it was, but I knew it was something my knee was messed up, but I didn't know it was my ACL. So probably like a day later, I figured kind of it was my ACL. It was tough, like uh, initially hearing that I was gonna be out a year or, and all that. But what what immediately went through my head was, where do I start? Like, where do I start to to come to to recover and come back? After the surgeries, it was locked out in a brace for a couple of days. Immediately, we just uh, got straight to trying to bend it and uh, st straight to uh, adding strength. That was what we was doing straight to it. My whole mindset throughout the whole the whole journey was to just trust myself and attack this process. Cause I love the game too much. Like I love basketball. I love to play too much. So I feel like God gives his, his toughest battles to a stronger soldier. So that was my mindset uh, from day one. Uh, the hardest part of recovery is uh, the everyday battle of continuing to, to to get better, knowing that knowing it's like it's not going to be better in one day or two days. And that's what most people, you know, want. But with this type of injury, it's like you got to build everything back up. That was probably the toughest part is just, just knowing that you got to stay down and really, really work, work at it every single day to strengthen it back up all the way. Feeling good, man. Ready to get to it. Long overdue. That's how I'm feeling, man. Ready to get on. Being able to check into a, the game again, it was just like a relief and a blessing. Like I was thinking about that day since the day I tore my ACL. So it just reminded me to just appreciate the game and how much I love the game. I miss being out on the court and being out there and being able to compete bad. I tore my ACL in a game that didn't, in an exhibition game, obviously it didn't count. I was like being able to make it to you know a game where it actually counted it was, it was a big moment for me for sure. What Jeff Capel knows they can be. So Bandy elevates and flushes it home. Having to sit out so much, getting that first dunk, man, it felt, it felt good. To get it to go all the way down, it's just like, ah, like finally. And it just gave me so much energy to, to, to know that I can continue to do it. Like, all right, that's, the, that's me knocking the rest off for sure. I knew eventually the time that I'll come back and time at work. I attacked the weight room a lot throughout this process, like to, to strengthen my body and my leg. So I knew eventually at some point everything was going to come back, but it was just like when. Just when, when is everything going to start clicking again to where I feel good and really just not sore as much afterwards. I wasn't really worried about performing. I was worried about just after, after like a hard day of work being too sore, you know. I learned a lot more about myself, just become, becoming more at peace with myself in my mind. Uh, not not overthinking too much and just, you know, trusting myself. I feel like just the whole process, it taught me how to trust myself more and become more at peace with uh, myself.